in Orlando. I'm Larry Ridley, and this is Madden Ultimate Team. On deck, we've got a great matchup in store between the Philadelphia Eagles and the Welcome Cleveland Welcome back. Browns. This is only the second game I've played. Uh, I like, I like the way it moves and everything. This guy was, I don't know, I... I haven't found a playbook yet to use, so I'm using the Packers playbook. Down at the but uh, we almost came back and won. I went for the win. Otherwise, the is the we would have. Uh, and it's grabbed by Bo Jackson. And he's in for the touchdown. What a play. What a run. Formation. Interception. Tackles made. Nice set up now at the 16. Anyway, we would have won this and. Uh, we came back in the, the fourth Steve quarter here. Sorry about that. I'm, I'm having a little technical we'll difficulties nickel. with my PC. Uh, we uh, we stopped them a lot, but I'm not. I'm not snap. convinced we've got the best the defense either. Loose. And I don't know all the ins and outs of the, the pass goal. catching stuff they added on. You know, like pressing triangle and, and square and everything. But I mean, it, it's a lot like Madden 15. Except there's like it feels a little different the way they move and stuff, but uh, yeah, I'm, I'm gonna probably start another franchise. It most likely won't be Cleveland. That way, uh, you the guys can Select see some of the it. other and teams. And the I'm gonna now. look into it. I may do Cleveland just on the side or something, but I'll probably try to post at least one game a week. So thanks for tuning in. You can check out this. Damn near comeback win. You know, we came close, but we just couldn't get the two point conversion through a critical interception at the wrong time. So, anyway, thanks for viewing and give us a like and subscribe if you like it. Needing four to stay on the field. The Browns from the 37. The Browns lined up in a single back formation. Ah! And he's brought to the ground. This defense. Cribs from the 17. He's brought down at the 20 yard line. They needed the ball back and they got it off the punt. And now they need points and they do have timeouts to work with here in the final two minutes. Yeah, having those timeouts is everything. What do we always say? Use those timeouts in the first half. In the second half, protect them like they're gold. Give this offense and the coach credit. They saved a couple and that's going to help them in this drive. The Browns head to the line. They've got one timeout left here in the fourth quarter. Now on first down, every snap crucial the rest of the way. First down at the 20. Look at that concentration as he makes the grab. First down, pressure on every snap now. If you think you can get a playoff quickly and not use a timeout, you go with the hurry-up offense. That time, a good job by the coach and the quarterback. Watson's taken down at the 18. Going to the hurry up. Under a minute to go here. First down at the 18. And he's taken down. There is no decision to make in a situation like this. Under two minutes, the clock is running. You take a quarterback sack. Look how long it's taken him to get back in formation to try to run the next play. play is huge now second down on the way the Eagles at at the line dime package the Browns snap it at the 26 throws the pass out to Watson taken down and the clock continues to be their enemy right now well there's just no other option for the offense right here they got to go to the hurry up because they have no timeouts left so Get as many plays off as you can. Taylor's pass will go for an incompletion this time. And the late goal. The football in position now. In the red zone. And here the defense knows this is where it cannot buckle. 
What makes it so tough for the defense is in the red zone that the offense has a whole new set of plays once they get inside the 20, so you've got to be looking out for everything. And that's a touchdown late in this one. And with that touchdown, this game looks almost certain to be headed for overtime. Yeah, you know what, Jim? It, it could go into overtime, and when it goes into overtime, your strategy must change. You've got to know the situations. I think it makes you, as a coach, become more aggressive. Good game, man. Good game. Good game. Good game. Good game. On the field for a victory bow. One kneel down, and then they can celebrate, Phil. What a feeling. Yeah, it's got to be great for them, and what a difference. You look at them walking on the field. You can see the emotion, the body language, and look at the defense. Everybody head down, knowing all that work was, was for nothing because you did not win the game. Foles now on the move. And they take him down. A pair of true defensive efforts out there today that stood out. But in the end, it's a win for one side, even though the offense did not come out impressively. When you see a low-scoring game like that, Jim, it means one thing usually. Oh, a lot of hard hitting.